Tommy was doing a 5 key challenge where he was trying to stay in the wilderness until he PK'd 5 different accounts. Here he's found someone and a super unexpected thing happens. Hey, what are you saying, boss? Thank you, brother. He believes this guy is a bot, but just have a little look in the chat at what someone else received while this fight's going on. Man, and I'm so c Joey just gave my booty a slap. The man got the job done up to four keys, but he wasn't too excited because he knew it would be fairly mediocre loot. But just have a little look at what happens next. He got crossbow! He got crossbow! And there's the unexpected part. Possibly the luckiest 26 mil find we will ever see. So when Tommy was there, the other bot must have teleported out just as he got the kill. And there was just a sneaky crossbow sitting on the ground for quite some time. Luckily, no one else saw it before Tommy ran past after the kill. Random crossbow on the floor. Do you know what I mean? Like, you just don't see that. And just in case you're curious, here's his other keys about to... 2 mil, but the man just couldn't believe his luck. This was at the very start of his stream. And I do have to mention something Tommy said in a couple of those clips. None other than the famous streamer and someone who's won the Dead Man Mode tournament before, Manked, is going to be working as one of Jagex's staff members. And to make it even better in the Jagex news, well, Mod Sween will be joining the team as well. Well, I should say rejoining the team because he has worked there before. So with Mod Sween coming back and Manked coming onto the scene, I think we should be prepared for some big PvP changes. This could change everything. Feb is just vibing out. Pretty chill because there's no purple. Interesting. And that was literally his reaction. The most chill dude we will ever see. No, oh my God, let's go clip at Behemoth today. Drapak was hopping through the worlds trying to find someone to fight, but unfortunately he kept hopping on the same spot and a stream sniper was waiting for him. Lex is one of Skidler's long-term viewers, and he said, just come out to the wilderness and PK me. Let's do this in a fun way. Watch me still lose on tracker, Lex. Now, I can confirm this was a little donation, but I don't think anyone knew it would be this big. What are you vaping on? <laughs> That's right, a massive 2.5 bill. Imagine if another PKer quickly swiped in and jumped on him. I think that's going to be some GP and item Skidler will use for his Skidmas giveaway. So drop him a follow if you want to be a part of it. Chat clip that. And here we have our most viewed clip for the day. Holy... So that was a total of 84 damage, a big max scythe clip. Not sure why I got so many views. Maybe someone can explain it down below. And let's see what Mr. Mole Goat got from one of his raids. Don't want it. Huh? What? <laughs> Wait. Where's my lift? There it is. The man was not rewarded by any means. I've never seen someone get nothing. Was that a visual glitch or just because he only had 10k points? Well, something that I never knew existed is a RuneLite plugin that tells you anyone who is on RuneWatch's list that's nearby who has been reported for scamming in RuneScape. Well, this streamer found someone who got reported for not splitting and decided to have a little fun with it. No, I'm a new <coughs> scammer. I got all my how much you scam? I'm gonna call this scammer up. Who's a scammer? Lucky Lucania. And the fella was not happy. That's a super useful plugin, but I would hate to be falsely accused and have people think you're a scammer everywhere you go on Scape. We all remember the good old days going to Barrows and you would forget your spade, so you'd try and buy one off a nearby player. Buying spade 2K. Buying spade 2,000 gold from Mr. Polygum. 
Now, I know he has 2,000 gold because this guy's made him money. Thank you for your 2,000 gold. <laughs> we scuffed him, bro. There's a spade spot over here, bro. I'm sorry, Polygoon, mate. You're just not quite the best, mate. Bodhi had the absolutely genius idea because there is a spawn of one now, but something strange happened when he got back. Don't roast me about running, please. Buying spade 3k. This one was titled Infinite Money Glitch, but when you look a little closer, it's a level 119 wearing mithril armor. He's just having a bit of a joke with our streamer. Pewers can now get Xenites on Iron Man, and Olive has been hunting them for a very long time. He's only received one in 1,000 KC. Oh my god! Dude, there it is! It finally happened! Four kills after 1,000! No way! Oh my god! Finally pulling his second one, but it's just crazy to see that the man has pulled all of the items for the Ballista as well. Some of them can take thousands and thousands of KC. Doofy Stream told him he should try and send a level 500, so he did it with just a Bofa and a Sang Staff, but it definitely paid off. Oh good if it's a stab. Pause. Oh my god! God, no way! No way! There it is, pulling the Shadow Staff without any split, and our next streamer also decided to do a level 500, which rewarded him in a purple. He got Japs, Key. Ah, oh, yeah. Oh, it's not bad. There it is, another 1.3 build that does not have to be split. You love to see it. Perp was just running into the rev caves before this PK has started to attack him, and I guess he just thought he was easily going to outlive it because he didn't even put on protect from item, but down he went. There was some sneaky Christmas spirit sneaking into the RuneScape streamer's streams today. Have a little look in and see if you can guess who it is. What the? Did anyone else see that? Not only Alfie, but also Big Daddy Defy. What the f*** was that? Another one. Ah! There it is! Another one. It was it? It was right here. What the f***? And if you didn't catch it, maybe a lot of you would have thought C Engineer, but that was actually the very fast, the very sneaky noob type having a bit of fun trolling the streamers. And speaking of trolling, Perp's trying to go for a Darox bomb, but he doesn't want to fight this guy because he's a bit too strong, so he decides to pull off this amazing maneuver. Bye, have a great time. <laughs> Molly Music's on her ultimate Iron Man, and I guess she either lost or had to get rid of her ancient staff, so here she is at the mummies. So, it was really f <gasps> oh, Let's go! And as you can see, she was very relieved. That is a 1 out of 513 drop, and every time you get a kill, you've got a hop world because the mummy takes a super long time to restore. It's actually a super weird item that you can only get from the mummy if you get rid of it originally. Unless you have 93 Slayer or want to venture into the wilderness, which not all the ultimates can do. Doggo. T.Y. To all. To all. Good night, Tax. Good night. Another nice one from Osku, and that one pulled a big 88.8 mil. This man just prints GP. And speaking of printing GP, what will this duo get? Big, 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 big. Oh! oh! Did we just get it? We got it! 600 mil! Oh, sh! Let's go! Yo! And they went absolutely wild, coming in at 770 mil for that amazing Ellie. That is a super good split. And that's it, just 43kc. I can hear the little Iron Man crying from here. Ah, uh, bro. <sighs> Swallowing it is the worst. <laughs> Some wise words from Only Trails. Thank you very much for watching. Keep up the likes if you enjoy the videos and help me out with a sub. I'll see you legends tomorrow.